So from financial modeling functions, we take a look at the lookup formula, which may be VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and LOOKUP. So all of this, we will see it from a Excel spreadsheet, how we use these functions. First, we'll take a look at VLOOKUP. So how do we use VLOOKUP in Excel spreadsheet? And for that, what we have is we have a named range, which is fruit list, which is fruit list. So that is a named range. What we are going to do is we are going to look up one particular value, oranges from fruit list named range, so which has fruits and prices. So oranges is also there. So how do we look up? oranges from this list that is what we are going to see so we go to c12 where there is a lookup written which is a v lookup and the first field given is b12 b12 is oranges and next it is from a named range so it's from a list of cells which is given by fruit list which we have seen that it is that uh, named range which we have shown and it is the second column which we are interested. So the first column is fruit, second column is price. So from these values, wherever oranges are there, that corresponding value we take. In this case, we take 0.9 and it has to be an exact match. So the VLOOKUP will return 0.9, which is for oranges. And now we actually multiply it with A12. A12 is four. So 0.9 into 4, we, we, give, give, we get it as value 3.6. So we look up, we do, we get the corresponding value in price of oranges and which is 0.9. And once we obtain that value, we multiply it with 812, which is 4. So 0.9 into 4, we get 3.6 as the result. So this is how we do a we look up. Next, we take a look at how do we do HLOOKUP. It's the same concept, only thing is that it is horizontal. So HLOOKUP, we are doing it in B7, cell B7. Now what we are doing, we are doing HLOOKUP for worst, which is given in A1. A1 worst is given and there is a price list. So what is that price list? Price list is this set of values which is almost a table which has worst base and best and it is the second row which we are interested to get the value so if you really see hlookup does matching of worst which is given in a1 with a price list which is a table which has worst base and best and the second row of that table is values from 100 till 170. So what is the value which corresponds to worst, which is 100. So that value we actually get it with respect to HLOOKUP in cell B7. So hope that is understood. Lastly, we see what is lookup. So lookup, to explain lookup, we have got a pricing table. So a pricing table gives a range of prices, a range of uh, volume and for that volume, what is the price which they charge. So here in this case, from 0 to 5, the price charge is 15. From 6 to 50, price charge is 12. From 51 till 150, price charge is 10.5. And from 151 till 300, price charge is 8. So we will give the, only the volumes. The volume is 60. If it is 60, it is between 51 and 150 and the price charged is 10.5. So how do we get it? We use a lookup. We say we want A3, which is 60 for the range E3 till E7. E3 is this, uh, E3 is actually this cell till E7. E7 is this so in this range this is the range we give and what is the value which we want which is g3 till g7 corresponding rows from g3 till g7 
so this will uh, get the value from 51 till 150 that is the range which it gets the value from and the price is 10.5 so we get the price per item 10.5 similarly for 250 we get 8 250 is actually between 151 and 300 so we get 8 for 150 we get 10.5 150 is between 151 and 300 the price is 8 so we actually get 8 so similarly it is it gives an approximate value actually for all the pricing price which falls in a range range of volume so that is the use of lookup we'll see again what lookup is lookup takes a3 which is the value which we are searching e3 till e7 is the range which we are searching and g3 till g7 is the corresponding value which the lookup will return after doing a search or lookup into the list which is e3 till e7 hope you understood thank you